Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus. Hope you all had a good weekend and welcome to this week's series of videos. Uh, we're going to take a step back from Plant for uh, this week and we're going to have a look at AutoCAD uh, and VBA. So VBA was uh, not a, I guess, a, a full-on sort of scripting like C Sharp or .NET. Uh, with AutoCAD, I sort of maybe tend to think of it sort of like a, a halfway uh, a solution between um, AutoCAD and, and basic scripts right up to doing full-on .NET scripting. So uh, essentially VBA lives inside the application. Um, you can obviously do certain things with it that you could normally script uh, maybe with a script or Lisp. Uh, but again, it just takes it to sort of a, a mid kind of level uh, and not as full on as, as, like I said, with .NET. So to check that you have the VBA uh, application installed, you would type in VBA man. Now, I have it installed, so it will appear. If it's not installed, you will get a warning uh, and an error message saying that it's not installed or no longer supported. But what you can do, it'll give you a hyperlink to go and install VBA from uh, the Autodesk website. So I will include this in the links uh, in, the, in the description below, but then you, you just need to click on the, the downloader, uh, install it, uh, and then restart AutoCAD, and then you will get uh, VBA Manager in here. So what we're going to do for this week is just a, a little uh, application uh, just to, to batch script a whole bunch of drawings uh, from uh, one, it could be a version upgrade, it could be uh, layer editing, it could even just be something as simple as doing a zoom extents on all of the drawings or even purging items. Uh, again, the, the world is your oyster when it gets to this, this scripting part because what we're going to do with this batch file or batch converter is uh, include a user script as well. So we're going to hard code some commands uh, in our VBA, in our application, and we're also going to give the ability to add a user script. So I guess let's kick it off. So I'm in just AutoCAD 2019 in drawing one, so just a basic drawing. I'm going to type in VBA man. And I'm in the current drawing. Uh, I can create a new file. I can load an existing one, and I can look at the macro. So I just want to create a new one. So it creates a new project called ACAD project, and then we go into the VB editor to load it up here. So this is um, the project living inside this drawing. So I'm going to just going to click on close and return to AutoCAD, and I'll type in VBA man again. And I'm going to select it and just do save as. So I'm going to save it on my C drive. I'm going to make a new folder called batching, underscore batching. And I'm going to call it batching. And it will have the suffix of a .dvb file. So then we go back into the VB editor again. So We've got the objects of this drawing, so we, we don't need anything from there yet, but um, how I like to start is just adding a new form just to start off with. So um, we can right click on it on the project itself and say insert user form. So this gives us the form or basically the, the dialog box that, that we're going to use uh, for this project here. So you can keep it as user form one, uh, or you can give it another name as well. So uh, I'm just going to call this Tech Nexus Batch Form One. Okay, and then the caption itself is this text up here. So I'm just going to say Tech Nexus batching app and I'm also going to look at the size so just for, for now I'm going to make it 500 by 500 and we're going to adjust that a little bit later once we do get an idea on, on what we're going to place in, in it as well so again we've got our project and then inside that we've got our form now as we progress as well there will be 
other menu items in here so we're going to have to go through and add some more references possibly to other uh, maybe applications or other DLL files in here um, but for now this is the form so we if we click on play we don't have a macro so a macro need is used to call up uh, something else so it could be another command or it could be um, maybe uh, another another form uh, or again just calling up another application so what we can do with this is right click on here on the project and go insert a module and this module is what is going to call up our form and and be the, the trigger for our, our form so the macro so I'm going to change the name from module one to mod load form so it's just naming it and we're going to start off by calling it a, a, a sub so just a routine so I'm going to say uh, let's call it sub load form and then the macro inside it is going to be this form and we're going to show it so it's going to be tech nexus batch form one dot show okay so it's essentially saying grab this form and then show it and you can see as I typed the variable in here we got when I got to the dot here at the end it give, gave me the ability to to do another command to to uh, sort of like a subroutine I guess underneath that so I'm going to close this and then when I click on play I now have my my form ready to appear from this script here as well so for today I'm just going to leave it at that tomorrow on tomorrow's video we're going to dive in and have a play with the form so add a few things like labels um, and and sort of group uh, areas and then call up other routines or call up directories as well uh, and then ultimately what we're going to do is have a directory of uh, files here we're going to have in the middle of this dialog box we're going to have uh, some built-in commands and then on the right we're going to have a little dialog box to show um, a, a user script so then that way we can run it as well so I guess lastly before finishing this video today I'm just gonna come back I forgot to mention to change the name here so uh, again you can call it something so I'm just gonna call it tech nexus batching and again that's just gonna be the name of the project there as well uh, I think as, as I progress I'll go through these menus just to show what's going on so some of these uh, windows here will pull up later so we can see what we're doing um, you know we can format and adjust all of the form properties which we'll go through later we can add a watch so we can um, you know even just pause uh, the project as it runs the run mode any other tools and references I'll, I'll call it up a little bit later uh, but again if we need to there's a whole bunch of references in here like even things like uh, for Microsoft Office we can have add-ins for that um, but yeah at the end of the day we will get this script going and then you can run it on your own files um, and then hopefully it all works perfectly for you and, and hopefully solves a few problems uh, in regards to any batching routines that you might need to do so before I sign off I'm just going to close this off and just double check in my VBA manager that it's all sitting here ready and waiting so again thanks for watching uh, hopefully it was of interest and keep following me for the whole week here and by Friday uh, by the last video on Friday we should have this script up and running and then batch converting a whole bunch of drawings uh, that we don't need to do manually so again please subscribe to the video thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't uh, click on the little bell icon for not daily notifications of all of my different videos again thanks for watching